Sincere condolences to the family and friends of Sister Payne who are here today to celebrate her life. From Sunday evening when we were here to celebrate her life up to now, all I hear about Mother Payne is love. Love, love. The world is so full of hatred and war and, and confusion and sickness and catastrophes and disasters. But in this place, all we can hear is love. Praise the name of Jesus. And the love we are talking about is the love of God given to her. And through her, it flew to every one of us in this house. Everyone benefited from the love that this woman carried in her heart, in her actions, in her walk with Christ. Nearly two years ago when I came to work here as the pastor of this church, she with open arms received me. She adopted me into her heart as a loving mother that she was. She took care of me. She always had two questions to ask me. The first one was, Pastor Pedro, how are you doing? And holding my two hands, you know. I'm very tall and she always looking up and talking to me. And the second question was, would you like something to eat? When she was here, especially on Wednesday, she would make sure I had my lunch. Either downstairs in the hall, or she would send this beautiful plate, all decorated with vegetables to me in the office. She was a real mother. She didn't care I was from South America. She didn't care I looked pale. She had diversity in her heart. Just like the heart of God. And when I look at her beautiful family, and I see diversity there as well, I praise God for her life. The way she raised them. The way she taught them. She was a true missionary. I don't know if she held that title as a member of this church. But I can call her a missionary. She was here in this world on a divine mission to love. To show love and dedication and commitment to the work of God. And she was not in it because something you know, was coming her way. She did it for love. Nowadays, people are after something. If they give you a glass of water, they expect some money in exchange. But she did it for love. Never expected her name to be mentioned, a certificate to be given to her, or to be, you know, publicly announced. She did everything for love. I will miss her greatly. I had the privilege to fellowship with her uh, uh, about five or six weeks leading up to her passing. I went to her house every Tuesday to fellowship with her, to pray for Uncle Eddie. I know that this man, there are many prayers still upon this man's life and God will see to him. God will protect him. He will not escape our prayers. Hallelujah. This is a praying church. And we praise God for it. When I look at everything that was said about sister, or as many know her mother pain, the way she treated people, the way she loved people, the way even when she was stern, but she still loved them. And when you correct someone, it's because you love them. I look at the apostle Paul. In Philippians, he says, Philippians 1 to anyone, he says, For to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. What person in their right mind would say that to die is gain? I have known many Christians throughout my walk with Christ, and when you mention the word death, they all run away. Even if they are sick. Or going through problems. They want you to pray for God to heal them. To open the doors for them. But don't talk to them about going to heaven. Not yet. Not all of them. But many of them. However Paul had a different vision. He was on a different spiritual level. He said to die in Christ is gain. 
and to live hallelujah as Christ even if I am suffering like he was stoned and put in prison but he was an encourager Paul was a courageous encourager from the prison cell he would write letters to the church be faithful to your God walk with your God listen to the word of God obey the word of God he was a courageous encourager even when being beaten by storm he was faithful and so was this woman that is lying in this casket today she was faithful despite the storms despite the difficulties of life she remained faithful to the Lord I am a testimony a testimony test testimony of what she hallelujah endured many times I called her and I said sister Payne how are you feeling today I've got some pain but I give God the glory I am not feeling very well my legs are swollen but I give God the glory as Paul said to live as Christ for me to live as Christ, even, even in the midst of suffering, you find time to give God the glory. And what is the reason to suffer as a Christian? To further the gospel and to give God the glory. I am sure that the name of the Lord today is being tremendously glorified because of this woman's life and testimony and fidelity towards the Lord throughout the years that she followed Jesus to this very day. I have never been envious of anybody. I don't envy your house, I don't envy your car, I don't envy your bank account, but I envy what this woman is about to receive in glory. A crown for her that was prepared for her, a robe, and she's going to walk hand in hand with the Lord on streets paved with gold. What more do you want to live as Christ? But to die is gain because you are going to spend eternity with your God, the Savior of your soul. Your life insurance cannot give you that. Your life insurance cannot take you to the pearly gates. But the word of God can. So what I have to say to the family before I conclude this. Look at the example that grandma, that this mother has set before all of us. Follow it. Follow the Christ that called her, that used her, that sent her, that gave her dreams and vision. Follow the same Jesus so you can one day see her again. I am not here to say farewell to her. I am not here to say goodbye to her. I am here to say, Mother Pain, see you soon. I see you soon. The way the world is going, war, all the signs of the end times clearly tells you, tells the world that the Bible is not a fairy tale book, that everything has been fulfilled. And one day, I will meet her again. I will hug her again. We will fellowship again in the presence of the living God. And if you want to be there, make sure you surrender to this God that Mother Pain, hallelujah, followed and served all the days of her life. I don't know about you, but I am excited because I am talking about a prayer warrior. I am talking about someone who is victorious. I am talking about someone who receives a crown in a crown of glory. A crown that she will wear proudly when she sees her Jesus. Have a shoulder call of the high. Everything around the world is indicating that the end is coming. Hallelujah. It is for us. 
to repent and be ready for the the blast of the trumpet will soon be heard and then he will say to us welcome come on in come on in faithful and good servant hallelujah God is a faithful God and he's looking for faithful people people who want to march people who want to fight people who want to go to war against sin against the enemy people who speak the truth like she did no matter what not a people's pleaser A generation that kept the church alive. A generation that made sure that there was fire in the church. A generation that saw the wrong and said that is not right before your God. According to the word of God, that is not right. You need to repent. That's the generation that is going, that spoke the truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't have time to go any further, but I want to leave this scripture with you all. And I believe that she, if she could speak now, I would give her the microphone and she would have said the same thing that Paul said. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Now, there is in store. Hello, it was reserved for her. In store for me. The crown of righteousness. Which the Lord, the right judge, will award to me on that day. And again, she makes here. After the comma another amendment and not only to me but also to all all of us who have longed for his appearing if you have not given your life to Jesus yet waste no more time to see mother pain to see your grandmother again you must follow the same Jesus that she was not ashamed of and that she preached. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Can you please stand with me? The same Jesus that we preach is the same one that comforts. The same Jesus that we preach is the same one that heals and baptizes and protects and guarantees eternal life. Hallelujah. Bow your heads with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that the Comforter will come down upon, hallelujah, Sister Payne's family, every member of the family, every friend of the family. In Jesus' name, at this difficult time, when people feel broken, when they feel shaken, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, Touch every mind, touch every heart, touch every member of the family, every friend, every brother, every sister in the church and fill them with your presence because wherever you are, there is joy, there is peace in the Holy Ghost. And I prayed as the time goes by that every one of them who are here today and those who are watching us will be your God. God comforted and have a testimony to say that God, hallelujah, came through for them in this difficult time. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Amen.